guys, welcome to another video. So recently, you guys showed so much love for my recent Idol Insider video and I'm so thankful because I recently talked about the Idol Star Athletic Competitions because that was going on and I knew that a lot of you guys are very curious about that topic and I said that if I got over 3,000 likes that I would basically share my experience and upon checking that video, I was so surprised because you guys surpassed that by like times four. It was like 12,000 likes, super crazy, super thankful. And I'm so excited to actually be here talking about it today because I have a lot to say and I did have to relive and kind of re-moment everything while I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about in this video. But thank you guys so much. Um, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notification bells. I talk about basically the backsides of the K-pop industry. And yeah, we're gonna go on with the video. So before I was gonna make this video, I actually did some research and just like recaps everything about ISAC and when I was actually on the show, because to be honest, I did not remember from the top of my head. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do some research. So I went on Google and I was like, no, 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 no. And I did some research. And it turns out that I was on ISAC in 2014 and it was a hard to jeep. So it was basically happening around January. So I was like, damn, it's been a minute, like 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's five years since I did ISAC and it was just so crazy because it's so crazy how time flies. But anyways guys, I was on ISAC five years ago and I was basically trying to like recaps everything and remember everything that happened. And I'm just gonna be sharing everything from like beginning to the end. So the beginning, what first happened was our CEO got the news that we, were, we got a spot on ISAC and he just basically brought together all the members and was like, okay guys, we're gonna go on ISAC, like it's a really good opportunity. And we're like, yes, great. And we're like super stoked because honestly, like that's a show that like every idol kind of wants to go on because it's like a show for idols. So if you do well, you know, you kind of shine or you can get recognized. So basically we were super excited and we're like, oh my God, yay, like what are we gonna do? Like which sport are we gonna do, you know? And they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna do one sport. So we're like, okay, you know what? Like it sucks that we can't do a lot of sports, but it's great that we could at least do one. And we originally thought that it was just gonna be five members. So we're like, okay, like what sport is it gonna be? And then he's like, oh, the 100 meter sprint. So initially we were thinking, okay, great. We'll be like spread out. And then he's like, no, 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 no. Like there's only gonna be one member. And when he said only one member, I was like, oh my gosh, that's like so hard. You have to beat so many people and that's the only chance we had. So initially, like it was kind of like I was super excited for it and then it kind of just went down because it sucked, you know, because basically we were rookies and we didn't get a spot or we couldn't get a lot of spots and actually a lot of rookies at the time only got to do one sport and also only like one or two members were like competing. So we had to find one member who was gonna be in the 100 meter sprint and we went to a park. I remember like there was like two, three weeks before it was gonna happen. We went to a park and basically we had to run. And I remember we like ran like a good five times um, just to find out which member was gonna be fit and which member should go on and represent the team. And basically one member was picked, um, it wasn't me, ironic enough because I did track for a really long time, but our members were all really fast and we all had um, different specialties because one member was really fast at starting and then one member was like getting faster towards the end. So I think that's the reason why we did it around five times. So basically one member um, practiced separately for about two weeks before going on the show. And the rest of the members, basically, we didn't really do anything before going on the show. And then two days before you get like a piece of paper of all the idols who are gonna participate and also basically which teams you guys are gonna be on. And I feel like this is also a very fun part about the process is because you get to see kind of which team is gonna be good, like which teams are gonna win um, and also like who's in your team because obviously other idols are gonna be in your team. I think around that time, um, the people who were on my team, I'm just gonna try to remember from the top of my head, it was like Zaya and Rainbow, 
um, Ajax and just that's all I can remember from the top of my head but basically um, we were like the blue team and I don't know that year the uniforms were pretty whack because we had like literally a rubber ducky t-shirt with like blue training track suits we ended up getting the track suits like two three days before and then we went to the shop <sighs> this is when the whole thing happened so basically we go to the shop around like three or four mind you not we don't get a lot of sleep because we already practiced like the day before we're like practicing till like 9 10 and um we like wash up and then only get like a couple hours of sleep go to the shop get our hair and makeup done and then go all the way to the gymnasium um, I believe that it was at Chamshir so basically we get there and I think the recording started around 7 a.m. so basically you gotta be there around like 6 30 at least so that you can be on time and that they could start recording early so I remember we got there around like 6 6 30 and you basically just wait in the car it was like winter that time so it was really cold so everybody was just waiting in the car and nobody was really going outside of the car and then the riders will probably call you from each car they'll be like okay like time to come out and then they'll film an interview section before going into the gymnasium and it's basically like oh like want to do and no, 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 no. like okay yeah, we're so excited to be here at isac and yeah today we're going to be participating in this 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 like everyone's gonna die or like i don't know you know and it's basically like a chugunki in a way you're just going and they're filming you walking into the gymnasium all the top idols went first which is really ironic because you would think that they would be the last to go but um they sent everyone in first and basically like all the idols were already in at that time and we were just waiting in the car it was running around like seven so i was like okay like they're gonna call us soon and i see like the cameraman like going inside and i was like what the heck what's going on so i told my manager i'm like did they forget about us like did they forget to call us because like the cameraman and like everyone's going inside to the gymnasium and then he's like no no no, no. they didn't forget like no they're probably just like going in and like filming something else so we waited like a good 10 minutes after and we got a call from the writer and the writer's like where are you guys and we're like we're here in the parking lot and then she's like no 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 no, no. like everyone's already here <laughs> so we didn't even get to film the introductory part and we basically had to go like run to wherever everybody was waiting and it's kind of like embarrassing in a way and yes my group was not known like we weren't popular i know you guys are gonna say that like i got a lot of comments on that like you guys weren't popular that's why yes like it's true the thing is i'm like they still didn't do their job that's their job to basically call people put them in place and that's what they were supposed to do we weren't even like given like what the directions were supposed to be we were literally clueless because we're like what are, what are we supposed to do? We didn't even know where to go. And then basically um, we came there and they kind of got mad at us. They're like, oh my God, like, why don't you like call us? Like when you saw everybody going in and we're like, mm, we thought that you guys were gonna call us. So basically that's what happened. So the start of ISCC was kind of just like a bummer. Cause I was like, damn, like it feels like they don't even like want us here. Upon that, basically we go into the gymnasium and you're just there waiting till everything happens. So one thing that I also remember that was pretty interesting about ISCC too is that when I was sitting down and you look up, you could see all the different fans and just the different banners, different fan groups for the different groups. And I think the most interesting part was actually the interactions with the fans and also the idols is because they would sing the idol songs as loud as they can to beat the other like fan songs and the fans would constantly be singing like different idol songs and also the idols would like encourage it too um, and it was very fun and I think that that was probably the most fun thing about ISCC and the only fun thing about ISCC is that um, while the other members are doing something or if a member is about to go up they will like sing the songs and cheer for them it's so crazy how so many things have changed within five years because the idols were popular back then um, and now have definitely like switched up a lot. I remember 
the idols who had the most fans in like the fan fan seats and stuff because they would have like a bigger section like noticeably a bigger section i'm gonna be telling you guys now it was actually bap they had a really big fan section very big and also b1a4 very big fan section infinite had a big fan section and amongst that too um bts did have a big fan section but it was actually quite smaller than the other three which is so crazy because so many things have changed and like wow like i was at isac it was really weird because they would film just like super top idols or like idols that were more popular and um i remember like we were like trying to think to ourselves since we're rookies like how are we gonna get camera time how are we gonna get camera time so we like try to like you know kind of get into frames like it was really funny because that was kind of like the joke between us is that we were just kind of like be like oh, like you know trying to get into the frame <laughs> i mean but you gotta do what you gotta do so um to be honest when i was there i wasn't used to like being with a bunch of idols like 200 idols in one sitting so it was pretty draining for me because I wasn't really like making any friends or like we weren't like really talking to anybody amongst like ourselves and I feel like everybody's like that unless like I said you know um, someone from the group so basically we're just talking you can't even take your phone you can't do anything so basically the only thing you could do is conversate with just your members and um, you do get break times in between because I got to know a lot of questions too like do you get break times? You do get break times in between and they give you out like snacks and stuff and like I said that's the time where you can kind of talk to other you know boy group or girl group members because um, backstage like it's not like it's separated so you can kind of like I don't know give them a snack or do whatever and just like talk but that's what happened and I remember my member, she basically went on to go run and obviously like we didn't get first place or we didn't even win that round because you're supposed to win the round and then with each round you win then you get placed with everybody who won and then it goes from there so initially after like you know things didn't work out we're like great and I think it was around like it was still around like 12 and basically we just literally had to sit there till nine around and nothing really happened like we were just sitting there because obviously you know we only got a chance to do one sport and i remember us thinking like okay you know what like at least try to get like a cameraman on us or like try to do something or try to at least cheer for other idols and um, that's what we did we really did our best to just try to cheer on for other idols and try to enjoy the moment it was really long time like nine hours like after um you know she wasn't picked after like a month or two i saw it air on tv and literally guys I kid you not, like maybe five seconds, but we really didn't get any screen time. And I don't know, like that just whole experience was just really bull. <laughs> because um, if the writer didn't double check of like who was there, we might have just been sitting in our car for forever and like waiting. And it was pretty crazy and it sucks that we didn't even get to do like, this, like the little interview in the front not that they were going to use it but like you know like we were all kind of like prepared about like what we wanted to say and, like talking in the car just thinking about um what members want to say what and then like what to do but we didn't even get to do that <laughs> and we basically didn't get any screen time so i was like damn this sucks and i feel like any rookie who was on ISAC will feel this way, so yeah, that was my experience. And yeah, that was it. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are probably gonna say like, oh, that your experience is gonna be different because you were just a rookie and like you guys weren't known. And yeah, like that's true, but it's still my experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and that was, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe and until the next one.